This is part two of the series for tubular cast on, and today we are going to talk about the foundation rows. Once you have cast on the correct amount of stitches plus one, turn your work as shown. For the foundation rows, you will always knit the knits and slip the purls because you are knitting back and forth and not in the round. You will notice the tail at the bottom of the needle as a horizontal yarn. The working yarn forms the stitches that loop over the needles. The stitches that cross over the tail yarn is the knit stitch, and the stitches that cross under the tail yarn are your purl stitch. Here it is in slow motion, and it shows the first stitch being picked up. With the yarn to the front, slip the purls. And with the yarn to the rear, knit the knits. With the yarn to the front, slip the purl. With the yarn to the rear, knit the knit. Continue the sequence until you have finished the row. Count as you go or go back to count the stitches to make sure you have the correct amount. By knitting the knits and slipping the purls, the tubular cast on knits as a double-sided fabric. When you reach the end of the row, turn your work and continue with slipping the purls and knitting the knits for row 2. On row 3, you will duplicate row 1. Once you have finished 3 rows, you will begin to notice a pattern forming. Continue this for one more row, with the fourth row the same as row 2, totaling four foundation rows. Once you have finished the four foundation rows, you can remove the tail yarn by using a DPN and carefully picking the tail out. You are now ready to divide the stitches onto multiple double points. Once the stitches are divided equally, you are ready for the preparation row. This will convert the 1-1 one, one ribbing into a 2-2 two, two ribbing. Please be sure to come back for part 3, the preparation row.